Hello guys, my name is Yoho139 and today we're playing Dishonored. I'm going to go for a no kills playthrough. Uh, I'm going to play it on easy for the simple reason that some of the paths I'll be choosing on easy you won't be able to do on normal in case anyone wants to play through and they don't want the, diff the challenge of it to be ruined. Um, I think that should be visible enough for YouTube. Uh, there are a lot of cutscenes early on uh, and I won't be able to talk during those, so just enjoy, and I'll Corvo, talk after. if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spymaster was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. So that was the Empress's voice you just heard. Uh, in this character you are the Royal Protector, essentially a bodyguard. Uh, you've just been sent away on an information gathering mission regarding uh, a rat play which has returned to London. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. That's right, I do. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. What we see over here is Dunwall times. Tower. Uh, residence the of the Empress. Months. Over there is the rest of London. Well, this was important. We um, need help with the rat we're going to go up in this water lock here and talk to the Empress. Not really much to say here. Oh, now this is actually the second time I'm recording this, was the first time I had it. The sounds were ridiculously high and overpowered everything I said, so unfortunately I am recording for the second time and once again I've forgotten to start my actual stopwatch to keep track of how long the episode's been, so I'm starting that now. Okay. So. The Empress will be waiting for your news, She will. Now you'll see there, uh, on my explanation of commands that I have them rather strange, 6, 8, 7, and Z to move as opposed to WASD. That's just because I'm using a Dvorak keyboard, don't mind that, the key bindings are actually pretty good in this game. Will you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any whales? Wait! Let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. Do you have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. So basically what this is, is okay, it's a stealth uh, tutorial teaching you how to hide from enemies. Um, all you really have to do is stand in a, well, crouch in a corner until she gives up on finding you. Okay, so now we've gone into this courtyard for no apparent reason. She's so going to start counting. I'm just going to come over here and stand on this wall because it's really a great hiding spot. Oh, for God's sake. There we go. I'm just going to float over here in this corner. Standing on nothing because, yeah, why not? Um, now we're going to have to just sit here for a while until she gives up on finding us. This is a bit of a boring uh, part of the game. Uh, now, when you crouch, enemies are practically blind as to where you are. They're completely hopeless. Um, while you're crouching as well, you can press E and Q, or in my case, 5 and Q, um, to lean either way. And this lets you look around corners at enemies without them being able to see you. For the intent, for the purposes of the enemy, you are essentially here, so they can't see you no matter what. 
Um, it is very useful for stealth missions, but other than that, you are going to have absolutely no use for it. So if you're planning on going through and killing everyone, which I guarantee you is very fun, um, leaning very rarely has any use unless you're trying to take on a massive crowd of people and you don't really know how to. Uh, I seem to have lost Emily. I'm just going to get off here. Oh, she's still looking. Strange, she doesn't take this long. Not sure if she's waiting for me. No, there you go. Okay. Now to go meet the Empress up on the top. Follow me, Corvo. Following you, Emily. Okay. Up here we have Anton Sokolov. He's a natural philosopher. He's essentially a scientist home, Lord and a painter. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. Wherever you've been. They sent him all around the Isles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. Just what take his cider, so he has to reshift his composure of the I'm painting. Kind of ass ass like that. Mm -hmm. Indeed, I believe so. Mm -hmm. They're sick people. Not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, your majesty. They're... They're my citizens. And we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. Cold. As you wish, your majesty. Um, as you noticed, when we were coming up, there was guards and maids pretty much everywhere. Corvo. You'll notice Two that that stops. Early. That dis they all disappear pretty soon. As usual. This guy is saying nothing of importance, don't worry about that. Um, so, that guard, the other guard. Follow me, Captain. Yeah, he just took them away. It's a fair wind that brings you home uh, to me. What news have you brought? Suspicious. Here's your letter. Now, while she's reading this, I'm going to show you that the guards and the doors are gone. Uh, basically all that says is that the other countries have no cure for their plague, no guard, and that they're blockading uh, London to keep the plague We're at the breaking here. point. Cowards. I wonder if you can read they're that going letter, to us. They'll wait to see if the plague nope. turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't now worry. Now if you keep going on this rooftop over Mother here, pretty soon fine. assassins are going to appear on it. Wait, where are the guards? There you go. Who sent them away? I don't know if you can see Mother, because uh, screen resolution or the resolution of this video isn't going to be great. Uh, here you go. This will be a fighting tutorial, which is rather unfortunate for people like me who are doing no kills because you can't actually kill these guys. You have to just block for a few for a while, and that's kind of annoying. Now you'll notice that when I block, I block just before they hit me. That's because when you block just before they hit you, they get knocked back, and that gives you some respite. If you do block constantly, it just blocks them for a while, and then certain slashes get around it anyway, so... There we go, that's gonna take care of uh, Certain slashes get around the block anyway, so it's best to keep blocking and knocking them off balance. Now this guy is using a power, which we'll get later on in the game. Uh, but right now we don't have it, so there's nothing we can do. This assassin just assassinated her. You'll notice the guy there just teleported, which they later call a transversal, and which is a power we'll be able to do, although it'll be called a blink when we do it. It's all coming apart. Find, find Emily. Protect her. You're the only one who'll know what to do. Won't you? Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. I find it funny they could, that they uh, say I killed the Empress even though Her my sword has no blood on it. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Peg him. Now, I apologize, my sound quality isn't great. Unfortunately, I have no better microphone. I'm actually recording this with a rock band microphone, the, the Wii one to be specific. 
and the sound just won't be great. It, I've had to mess around with the audio for a long time just to get this recording functional. Now we're in the torturer's room. They're trying to get me to conf confess for the Empress's murder. And let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, someone to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. There was nothing personal in this. Even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. You were in the wrong place at the right time. And someone has to take the fall. Goodbye, Corvo. God! Take it back to his cell. Okay, so as you gathered, we're in prison. Eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. Uh, we're in prison on, under conviction of having killed the Empress and kidnapped her daughter, even though she was nowhere to be seen. So that's uh, that's an interesting one. Uh, what's this? We all start with innocence, but the world leads us to guilt. Ooh, deep. Uh, he said this meal comes from a friend, quite literally. Uh, anonymous message. Corvo, who we are is irrelevant right now. Just know that we have faith in you. Here is the key to your cell. Once you're out, head for the prison's interrogation room. Take the explosive there and plant it on the other outer door. When the bomb goes off, run. Make for the river and lose yourself in the sewers. You'll find some useful gear stashed there. One of the prison guards will leave a weapon just outside your cell. And good luck. We need you alive and well for what's to come. A friend. Now we're going to get this cell key. Get out of here. I heard you got here. And take this weapon. We're not going to use this, obviously, because we are doing a no-kills playthrough. Um, but you have to take it so the game progresses, so I will. Now, this is an assassination and non-lethal takedown tutorial. Uh, you can kill people by coming behind them and pressing the left mouse, which is much faster than choking them, which is the non-lethal option. Unfortunately, I have to choke them because that's the only way you can have a non-lethal playthrough. Um, these guys are talking about uh, our execution tomorrow. I'm just going to quickly save, and then we'll get back to this. Come see the noble Lord Protector get his head chopped off. They're as bad as us betting on the dog fights. Right, I'm going to choke this guy here. And when you're choking them, you have the option to carry them, which makes you hide their bodies. Unless you really need to do uh, I'm sorry about that frame skip up there, I'm not sure what happened. Um, I'm going to catch up to this guy and choke him before he turns around, hopefully. Yep, got him. And then I'm going to get the other guy in a second. Uh, when you carry them, it also loots their bodies, so that's a useful little thing to have. He doesn't seem to have noticed his friends are missing, which is good. I don't need him to turn around so I can kill him. Actually, you know, I don't need to go back for him. I'm just going to continue on. Um, and there will be other times when I don't actually finish everyone off in the area, simply because it's not necessary or is prohibitively difficult. So I'm just going to leave him be. Not because it's difficult, but because there's no need for it. I'm gonna look through here. Yeah, that guy's still facing the other way. I'm gonna get a little steal the key Attention. and choke him before he turns around. You notice I stole his key before choking him. Um, if you're sneaking, you can steal pouches, keys, etc. Um, and I wanted to steal it because when you're not uh, undetected, so if, if he sees you, you can't actually choke people. So I just wanted to make sure I had his key before he went anywhere. I'm gonna get this guy, I'm gonna take this pouch as well on here. Strange place to leave it. I'm gonna get this guy here, choke him. Now, I have played through this level before, so I do know there is no one down here, so I can actually just sprint along here. Um, 
I'm gonna go through this interrogation room here. There will be an audiograph, which is basically uh, a hole punch audio player, so I'm gonna let that play now. Corvo's unconscious again. Now, this is an important little thing. Taking more punishment than the two men we brought in for interrogation. Anyway, we'll start again. Having him sign the confession for her murder isn't critical. Later, the assassination of an empress is not a trivial matter. Now, essentially, all that's saying is that we know now for a fact that he, uh, I'm sorry, actually, I've forgotten the character's name. Anyway, we know now for a fact that that was planned and that they know it wasn't actually you that killed the empress. Alright guys, I actually just had to reload an autosave because I accidentally shot my gun and I can't take it away, which is irritating to say the least. Um, so I've had to load an autosave. Didn't lose too much, thankfully. I was just standing out here in the yard, so... No problem. This is just a tutorial teaching you how to lean around corners. Same thing I was telling you earlier with the stealth tutorial with em Emily. Um, you'll notice I put my guns away, my gun and sword away. You can do that by holding F, and that'll just put your guns away, look for keyholes, uh, so on. Now that guy's gonna go stand in the corner there and look this way, while this guy patrols around. I'm going to just, I'm going to take this way around here, come back and get that guy from behind, and then take care of this guy. Oh, there he is. You'll notice here he didn't even see me even though I was right in his face. That's the effect of leaning. Uh, it's useful. It's a, it ruins immersion a bit because, well, you're sticking your face out in front of them and they don't even notice, but there you go. Uh, as I said with the stealth, they're essentially blind. That guy there didn't even notice me walking right past. I almost caught that guy who killed the Empress. Blow off. <laughs> so yeah, they're talking about me. Um, whenever you feel like moving would be nice. Okay. Now you'll notice that stealth missions are a bit slow, not much happens. So I will try to fill the void with commentary, but Honestly, I'm not a great talker, so I will just try talk about the game, and I'll try to not let any dead space happen. Now, if I wanted to, I could just take his key and leave, but it's not the best of ideas because there is a chance then that they will come back and come up behind me while I'm trying to get other people. I'm gonna get him now. And hope the other guy doesn't turn around in the meanwhile. Yep, excellent. And now where are you? Over there. Attention. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. Now you heard that announcement just there. Uh, these announcements happen regularly throughout the game for one reason or another. And they're not particularly important, but I'll try to let you hear them anyway. I can't wait to see his head roll out. Not everyone did, but I really like the Empress. So you'll notice that most, if not all, of the dialogue on this level is related to your execution the next day. So they're it's not very interesting to listen to. Um, Any chance you'll share your food with me tonight? You're such a chopper. I'm gonna wait till that guy moves on and then get into this room. <laughs> and take this guy out. The solitary wing is I'm gonna let him drop because I need to close that door behind me. Unless accompanied by an officer of the okay. wall. Uh, you saw a health elixir just there, the red thing. Um, essentially, that is health potions. Uh, they're not particularly useful to me because I'm taking the stealth path so I won't be getting into many fights. 
But if you're taking a fighting path, they're actually very, very useful. I'm gonna wait till this guy turns around so I can get him. Hopefully. There we go. Thank God these doors are so well oiled. Otherwise, I don't know what I'd do. Little mount jitter guy. Now, where are you going? Okay. Now, I'm not actually going to use that door control because that's extremely noisy and it would alert the guards on the other side, so that's probably a very bad idea. Um, I'm actually not sure how I'm going to get this guy. I'm going to take these things on my own. Where are you? There he is. Ooh, free money. Uh, I think I'll wait until he walks back there and take him out while he's walking, so he has his back to me. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna put him with the other bodies now, just in case. So, give me a second. Yeah, that's actually something I've noticed. You'll see the second body, the original body, rather, has disappeared. They don't actually wake up in this game, but for some reason they do, the bodies do disappear every now and then. So, if you're wondering, that's all that happened. There isn't a guard around here that I've somehow secretly gotten rid of. The bodies just tend to disappear. Now, I'm going over here so I can sneak up on these guards. And I'm going to actually save while up here because well, I don't want to lose progress, so I'll just cut that, edit that bit out. Okay, we're going to take our way down here. I think I'm going to drop down from this pipe onto this level. Mm, find my way around here and take this guy out, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think on easy that'll work. It won't work on normal for any of you playing through, because I'm pretty sure the guy will hear you or see you dropping down from there. So I'm going to make sure he doesn't see me, because I think he turns around when he reaches the end there. It wouldn't make sense not to. There we go. I'm going to wait. He's going to move out there, back to start his patrol, which is along here. So I'm going to drop down once he moves out to there. Okay. Turn. Thank you. I'm going to hide under here for a second to take all this stuff. You'll notice that I've been picking up bits of food as I go along. That's uh, all it does really is heals you if you're missing health. It's useful later on for when you don't have any Sokolov health elixirs, but again, it's not that useful unless you're playing through on a kill everyone and fight everyone playthrough. Now, it's going to be tricky finding a way to get this guy because you're not actually sure where he is. Oh, there he is. That answers my question. Uh, I'm going to jump up here as soon as he turns around and get him. Okay. And you're out. I'm going to bring him down to the other guy. Not because there's anyone coming through this area, but for the sake of cleanliness and other such. Um, I don't know what this does, so I'm going to leave it be. Sorry about that. And as I plant this bomb, guys, that's the end of this episode. Hope to see you guys next time. And, well, I hope you enjoy it. Leave any, leave any uh, criticism in the, comment, in the comments. Thank you.